UAE names oil chief to lead COP28 talks. The head of one of the world's biggest oil companies has been named to lead the COP28 global climate talks in Dubai, later this year. Campaigners say he must stand down from his oil business role while president as it is a clear conflict of interest. They believe someone steeped in the oil industry may not push countries to rapidly reduce their production and use of fossil fuel, which scientists say is critical to avoiding dangerous climate change. At COP27, there was a strong push from more than 80 countries for the conference to declare support for a phase-down of oil and gas as well as coal. This attempt came to nothing in the face of strong opposition from countries that rely on fossil fuel exports. ExxonMobil predicted climate change as early as 1970s yet publicly denied it, study finds. For decades, several fossil fuel companies have tried to convince people that a causal link between fossil fuel use and global warming cannot be made. About 60-80% to 80 of global warming projections reported by ExxonMobil scientists were consistent with subsequently observed temperatures. ExxonMobil, the study reports, worked to deny the findings of its own scientists, by following strategies like denigrating climate models. Overemphasizing uncertainties in the analyses, mythologizing global cooling, and claiming ignorance about the possibility of estimating human-caused warming. Greta Thunberg detained by police during eco-protest in German village. The Swedish environmental activist, 20, has been taking part in protests against the demolition of the village of Lutzeren, which is due to be cleared to make way for the expansion of a nearby coal mine. The government, which is a three-way coalition including the country's Green Party, has had to adapt its attitude to the use of coal after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The country has in the past been heavily reliant on Russian gas for its energy, but supplies have been reduced in response to European sanctions. Double-sided solar panel breakthrough offers big boost for net-zero targets. Bifacial solar panels are able to generate up to 35% more electricity than conventional one-sided solar panels, as they are able to collect light on both sides. As well as being able to harvest reflected light, double-sided panels are also more durable than traditional panels and are able to produce power for over 30 years. This improved efficiency and durability mean they are expected to provide over 16% of global energy demand by 2050. Biden surveys storm damage in California after flooding and landslides. California has been battered by a series of storms since late December, leaving at least 21 people dead. Biden's visit comes after the White House announced he approved a disaster declaration for California focusing federal aid. The declaration provides federal support for debris removal emergency protective measures and individual assistance for homes that have been damaged by the storms.